So part of the approach is we want this to be as easy as possible for developers to use. And so we take all of these frameworks and we run them on world-class infrastructure that a lot of you are familiar with on uh, EC2. Uh, and we make it available in different ways. Uh, we make it available in a fully managed service, which we call SageMaker, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a second. But we also make it available in an AMI, or an army, uh, where we take and optimize all of these frameworks and just make it a single click to deploy them up on EC2. And this DIY approach is really popular with um, uh, scientists and applied machine learning developers who want to get in and tinker at a very, very low level and potentially even build more frameworks going forwards. But as Werner's been talking about, we see a definite trend uh, with more and more developers turning to use containers. And so we want to apply the same approach where we're packaging, optimizing, configuring, installing all of these frameworks and make them available not just in an army, uh, but as a container. And so today, I'm very proud to announce AWS Deep Learning Containers. These deep learning containers allow you to quickly set up deep learning environments uh, up on EC2 using Docker containers. Uh, they run on Kubernetes or, or ECS and EKS. Uh, we've done all the hard work of um, building, compiling, um, generating, configuring, optimizing all of these uh, frameworks uh, so you don't have to. And that just means that you do less of the undifferentiated heavy lifting of installing these very, very complicated uh, frameworks and then maintaining them because they all move very, very quickly. And we'll be releasing new containers as new major versions are made available for TensorFlow and MXNet. And we'll be adding PyTorch uh, very, very soon. Uh, they're available in the AWS marketplace and through the EC2 container registry. <laughs> 